Hi guys, Umut here. Today I'm going to do a different video. I've repeated this a few times, uh, going over my uh, journals and when I complete them, showing you all the things happened here. But today I decided to do it voice to camera, so uh, I can speak to you properly without having to cut it. Uh, and uh, I'm also going to show you my mixed media tags that I did until now. So we can have a nice look at the past uh, and um, do a quick wrap up and uh, I can tell you what I used quickly and if you're interested in those projects because it's been quite a while I've uh, I've done a lot of uh, videos maybe you not everybody has to come and watch all of them but uh, it's good to see all of them together so you can pick and choose uh, what you want to watch uh, if you're interested so let's start with the latest journal i've done uh, all the wrap ups of my other journals that i completed so i'll link them down below and uh, some people ask uh, how do i go down below there is a little uh, arrow and it says uh, for more uh, open for more so you click those under the video and it opens a big window um, so you can uh, see all the links that i put there so I'll put uh, the other journal flip throughs down below in that description area and uh, I, I also prepared playlists I always do playlists for people to go easily find what they want so I have playlists for my art journals for my mixed media tags mixed media canvases and napkin journals so when I do napkin journal in my napkin journal notebook uh, it goes there when I do mixed media journals it goes here and uh, all the rest so let's start um, this is my Jane Davenport journal that I used for the first time because it has a very beautiful cover I decided to use this uh, protective cover as well on top of it so when I uh, use paint sprays and everything it doesn't go to the actual cover Actually now I can take it off because I'm not going to do anything else so we can <laughs> see and appreciate the beautiful cover. Still uh, I made a little bit mess but uh, overall it's in good shape because of that cover. Uh, I love the cover of it, it's canvas and uh, the pages are very uh, nice. It's uh, watercolor paper so it's super thick. It is a little bit bigger than my usual uh, preference. Uh, which is A5 uh, but uh, it's not so bigger than that the only thing that I didn't like about this journal was the texture it has watercolor paper texture so when I was using acrylics and all it wasn't 100% smooth that's why I uh, I think I will go back to Moleskine which is a uh, very smooth paper I think I'm not going to use any more pages here because if I use, which I could, um, it will be very bulky, it's already like this and I don't want it to become like this, um, so I'll stop here and switch to another journal. And this was the first page I did here, we need to open these little things because it crosses over the other page. Um, here I it's a technique that I love a lot I cut the borders of the page and uh, I sticked another border uh, a scrapbook paper behind and I use Jane Davenport uh, face stamp some cutouts this is ice ink yeah, it's a uh, ink that I used at the back and um, some texture work and uh, yeah some stamps and all but overall I wanted to use the Jane Davenport uh, face stamp because this was Jane Davenport uh, journal so I wanted to use my new Jane Davenport goodies <laughs> that's why I did a page like this I really love it because it has a big contrast of blacks and whites and these neon colors so I like it then this is my uh, uh, page that I designed for Stamperia uh, using the rice papers this little girl is a rice paper these are rice papers and I have I used stencils for the stars and I think I used paint yeah acrylic paint for the background 
uh, these are shiny I used glitter pen maybe I can show it like this I really love doing night scenes so you'll see it over and over again probably and I leave the uh, pages empty in between because I don't want to do things uh, one after another just to protect the pages a little bit and uh, also maybe I want to do something here poke a hole put some embellishments so I want this to be empty after I stick these pages together so it's all intact but to show you I wanted to leave this uh, before I stick them and this is such a happy page I love it uh, it's uh, I use sprays for the background uh, I think I used uh, Prima sprays which ha which has a little bit of shimmer in them but not a lot of you know glitter or shine but you can see a little bit shim shimmer I will try I might not be able to catch it these are all stickers uh, Heidi Swap stickers I think yeah no I think they are no these are Martha Stewart stickers and these uh, cutouts my pineapples I took from Daphne's diary yeah you know I love uh, Daphne's diary magazine it's a magazine that uh, you can find online I put it uh, many times if you go to this art journal you will find the links uh, there um, it's uh, a magazine that Daphne prepares uh, and she has a lot of hobbies so uh, there is traveling, crafting, food, a lot of things so it's a lot of fun to read and there are a lot of images that you can take so I like to get it, read it and use it for my art journals so happy page for spring um, this page is uh, for is an underwater uh, scenery I also love creating underwater sceneries because there's blue blue is my favorite color um, and uh, I got this from a this is a coloring page this uh, image is by Selina Fenich uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right uh, but uh, I really liked the girl and I colored it it was black and white um, I used a lot of uh, stickers this is no more glitter paste uh, for the fish uh, through a stencil and uh, all the pages uh, shimmery I think I used my uh, Prima um, metallic paints and six acrylic gl glaze uh, I think I used both I'm not so sure maybe only six it's hard to remember <laughs> after a while and uh, these girls are cutouts uh, and I used uh, stickers on them and I love the coat here serenity slow down uh, keep calm uh, because this girl looks so serene and calm and uh, here I did the ripples with a uh, glue gun by the way so I uh, I did circles and circles and I added some stickers as well just to make it a little bit different and again a page empty um, this is a bit of a masculine page I wanted to try different colors and uh, I created a wall and I used these clogs and stuff uh, and uh, this is uh, all these uh, scrapbook pieces are from Kaisercraft it's from a collection and I used a lot of uh, rust paste from Prima on to create this wall I quite like it it's uh, out of my usual zone but uh, I like doing different things too then uh, this page is uh, again <laughs> It's one of my uh, one of the days I was feeling girly probably because it's all pink. I used the rice paper at the back. It's uh, a lot of cutouts like decoupage this uh, page. Um, and uh, I took ah this is napkin. I remember now these flamingos. This is again Martha Stewart stickers, some cutouts. These are all napkins. And this is again from Daphne's diary that I took uh, to create the codes. It says a happiness note. 
Yeah, so it's a lot of notes of uh, to be happy. And uh, I really like the colors. It's, uh, it's a big contrast uh, behind this brown paper. Then again a page empty. This was for all, uh, uh, for the times of uh, season change, uh, autumn. Uh, and I used again my Jane Davenport face stamp. Then I created the hair, I did embossing and uh, I cut a lot of leaves to put on, ha on her hair. The background is with uh, Distress uh, inks. Uh, I used some stencils, Tim Holtz stencils and I did gold splatters. You can see here. Then uh, another one I uh, used to uh, here uh, rice papers. Um, these uh, two are rice papers, the butterflies. I used gold uh, paste to create my coat. It's from a stencil, a crafter's workshop stencil. And uh, I did gold splatters, some stamping, uh, you can see the details. Then this is again a page I designed for Stamperia. I love the colors, uh, really like them. And um, this was a scrapbook paper. Uh, this uh, mannequin, butterflies, there is real uh, string here, natural string. Uh, and uh, some stamping at the background. I used sprays for to give color. And I have this metal embellishment. Uh, I used some um, uh, gloss here uh, on the coat. And the coat says be strong and don't give up. Uh, some texture. I really like it. Uh, I love this color combination too. Some turquoise, uh, browns. Um, really looks elegant. See how I can uh, use embellishments like this if I leave the pages empty then um, this is a page I used uh, infusions uh, from paper art C. I love them uh, it's never the same color even if you use the same colors because it's a powder pigment you put it on your page you spray some water or you use um, matte medium and uh, it gives color uh, and uh, there are different colors, colored pigments in it and especially for paper arts infusions there is walnut stain in every one of them so it makes it a little bit more vintagey as well and uh, I used some uh, shimmery violet, uh, blue violet color as well from 13 arts that's why there are shimmery bits like this and I used the penny black stamp to make it more abstract, uh, to give a simple image, uh, let the color speak and the texture speak uh, rather than put a big uh, focal image uh, on this one. And I use little uh, drops to give more interest in the middle of my flowers. Then I think I didn't leave any space. This page is, um, I used again a Prima metallic uh, paints at the background, green and blue. And I wanted to use all these cutouts that I got from Daphne's diary again. Um, so I got this little girl and the cups and turned it into a, a tea page, a tea and uh, sweets. So I got these uh, from Daphne's diary too. I put some stickers. I used my stencils to do all these uh, clocks uh, from Crafters Workshop. Did some stamping. I did these uh, polka dots as well to lift the uh, page a little bit. I uh, made a border like this, stitches. And uh, my sentiment is hugging a cup. It's so nice, I love tea and coffee. Coffee is my go-to drink, uh, but uh, I drink tea often too. So I really love this page and the colors. 
then the next is uh, something very dear to my heart uh, books a page about books I love reading books uh, I think when I put this uh, page uh, online I also gave the link to my blog uh, I have a book blog that I uh, share my experiences with books my reviews news um, if I buy books uh, nice covers uh, so if you're interested I'll uh, link it down below again and uh, a book is a dream you hold in your hands. I truly believe it. Uh, it takes us to different worlds and I love them. So I started this page with zero idea and it turned into a book page. Uh, I love art journaling because of that. It's so unpredictable in the middle. You can change direction. It doesn't need to be perfect. Um, I just love it. Then this page is uh, so much fun. Uh, I I think uh, it was snowing in London when I created this page and it was so cold and uh, I was like begging for some spring. Uh, I miss summer so much. Uh, so I said I'm going to create a happy colorful page. So I used my dilutions uh, paints. Uh, the background is dilutions and I use fun dilutions border uh, because it's so colorful I try to balance it with black and white and I use these uh, little birdies uh, from Paper Art C they are mini stamps and I created a window as you see again to leave the page before is uh, important here it's sticked uh, because I put the window and I wanted to stick it but I left the page empty I could do this and I uh, put the sentiment inside the window and I use acetate sheets uh, to make the uh, windows to look like a uh, glass uh, and I colored my uh, birds with a uh, color pencil and uh, lastly oh, these stick together Ooh. So to prevent this, it's good that it's happening on camera. To prevent this, I will show you. So to prevent uh, your pages from sticking, you can use this product, this Distress Glaze, on all these uh, paste, when you use paste, uh, texture paste, and uh, when you feel there is paint that can stick. Generally, heavy body acrylic paint uh, tends to stick that's my experience I don't know if it's the same for you um, but uh, let's put it uh, this I will paint again no worries it won't be ruined um, but I will show you I think I will uh, put this glaze all over it's like a waxy thing um, and I uh, put it on the page on the areas that are that is possible to stick I didn't uh, imagine this will stick like this I was I would expect this to stick which didn't so it's better to be safe than sorry guys um, you can salvage the situation most of the time so I'm not so worried I'll just paint this back with the blue that I have here but real life uh, demo uh, to prevent your pages from sticking this is very good you can also search you don't need to buy this dress glaze there, there is a cold wax uh, you can write and there are bigger jars uh, that you can use if you don't want to buy this dress um, I have both I think so that's all and let's see the tags now I'll start with these um, and uh, some people uh, ask me how do I store my tags I haven't found a miracle recipe for that uh, because they are super uh, 3d and bulky um, I just put them on a shelf on a library shelf like this like books um, and uh, 
I don't know if you, if you, if I don't use them to decorate the house, uh, there is no space uh, and it's not easy to store them. You're right. If you have, if you found uh, ways, uh, let me know. Um, the other idea that I have is to put them in a box. Actually, to buy a box like this and just put them in a box and store like that. Uh, I think that's uh, another thing I can do. Um, but yeah, so this is a, a tag that I uh, designed with temporary products. Uh, these are all wooden shapes, so it's all wood. Uh, and uh, I use paint, mm, rice paper at the background. This is a wooden tag, by the way, um, and some ribbon. Um, I colored all this with uh, acrylic paints. So yeah, I like it. It's a happy one. This this also is uh, designed for stamp area. Uh, again, there is rice paper at the background, some wooden shapes. This is a stamp. Uh, I stamped it on a paper and cut it. Use some glitter uh, glue and uh, some sequins, gold and blue. Uh, another a combination that I love. This is uh, uh, this has a lot of texture. That was my aim. Uh, again, it's a wooden tag. Um, these are flowers. I don't know which brand. Um, I use some Nouveau glitter paste that I spread around. Background is uh, black gesso. Sometimes I really like co covering everything with black gesso and uh, work with bright colors on it. And uh, yeah, there are a lot of wood um, chipboards. I use stones and a lot of embellishments. So, it's another one. Uh, now, some cute tags uh, that I created with paper arts stamps and uh, infusions. Uh, I did this, I uh, bundled like this, uh, and uh, because they are all similar. I did all three of them in one video. So this is a pink and blue version. This is a red and red, blue and black. And this is green and yellow. All cute uh, stamps. So I was uh, aiming to use all three of these. And uh, different uh, background colors with dilution mm, infusions. And yeah, I really love them. They are so cute. Then again, a seasonal one. I did for fall. Some chipboard, some scrapbook paper, flowers. This is Prima. And uh, again, I think the background is gelatos and infusions. And uh, I love these blinks. And some leaves, uh, golden leaves at the background. Then I have this. I love the colors. Again, it must be a day I was feeling uh, girly. I love these uh, flowers. It's from Martha Stewart. Again, uh, chipboards, some sequins, some burlap. And I use premium metallic paints, I remember. This is Tim Holtz's uh, ideology. Yeah, I love it. I love the colors. Then we have another one that I really enjoyed. Very past pastel colors um, and really cute chipboards. These are scrapbook papers. Um, I used, I think, Tim Holtz paints at the background or Lindy's Stamp Gang. I think both I used. Then um, these are some uh, resin embellishments. This is, and these are chipboards from Dusty Attic. These little cu uh, cute birds and the houses. And uh, yeah, the colors are mint green, pink, a little bit uh, cream yellow, vanilla. That's why I love it so much. I really love tags because it's in a short time you can create something and uh, be satisfied with it. 
Uh, so from time to time, you know, I feel lazy to do a whole art journal page. I go for a tag. And this is a uh, one I love as well. Uh, it's uh, for the winter. Uh, I use some browns and uh, turquoise, green, blue, and uh, snowflakes are kisses from heaven. Uh, from a cup, uh, it's a scrap of paper. Some uh, snowflakes from and uh, street lights uh, from chipboards. Then. I have this once upon a time I have a uh, I bought this from a one pound store uh, it was a sticker set from Poundland I used chipboards at the background uh, some cardboard some stenciling uh, and uh, clocks from scrapbook papers I use a lot of scrapbook papers to create my images I love it I love cutting paste cutting things and putting somewhere to make a story out of it so yeah and the blinks I love then I created this as a duo as you can see the colors are similar I love uh, creating two tags at the same time uh, using uh, similar colors different interpretations so white and blue, my favorite two colors, and uh, two tags. Um, I think I used the Kaiser Craft uh, collection for this in indigo blue. I think it was called indigo blue, um, and chipboards and flowers. So this is another one. And again, I did this as a di as a duo, different colors, but same style I use gelatos for uh, backgrounds in both of them some flowers and uh, chipboards um, so this is uh, blues and golds there's uh, some uh, dream catcher here which I love it's from Scrapiniac uh, it's a chipboard and my gold ribbon and in this one I used green and gold uh, and uh, again chipboards this is Tim Holtz uh, sequins and yeah I love the colors really so guys that's all uh, we went through the latest art journal I completed and my tags uh, that I uh, did again the links are down below and um, if you want to check out what I showed today go to my playlists and uh, you will see all, all the videos um, instead of me linking there it's easier to go to the playlists uh, really and uh, if you have any questions want to learn more about something uh, please put a comment down below don't hesitate uh, you can contact me over email as well um, the ones who contact me would know uh, I reply to everything uh, if I don't reply it means uh, probably it went into the spam for some reason it happens uh, when I find out I apologize and I try to reply but uh, there are some cases I missed it oh, apologies if I am missing it uh, for some reason please uh, do contact again if I don't reply to a comment uh, write me on email if one of them I will reply um, thanks for watching uh, you show a lot of love uh, to what I do and I love making friends uh, through a hobby that we share uh, and uh, I appreciate all the comments, all the likes, uh, all the uh, interest that you give to me. I feel very blessed, very b blessed, and uh, very lucky uh, that I can uh, share what I love and uh, you know have a nice time together. Thanks a lot for watching, and see you next time.